Hi everyone, this is Just Trying to Play It, and I am back with a brand new game that I discovered that has taken over my life. And you wonder why, because it looks very simple on the screen, but it, it seriously has taken over my life for at least the past week. I think it came out about a week or so ago. I played the demo a while back, and I didn't have good expectations for the game, and I admit that. Uh, it's It's my own thing. I don't try to sugarcoat anything. If I don't feel like it's going to be fun, I don't play it. But this game came across to me as that, but I was still intrigued by it. The demo did not do the game justice, and I'm going to tell the developers that if they ever even bother to listen to this video. Your demo did not do the game any justice, and I'm glad you changed some of the things from the demo. Um, it really didn't do a lot for the game for me. But anyway, I've been talking long enough. Let's get into the game. It is called Sunrise's Order. And you're going to see why it's named that, which thank you to developers for uh, doing that. We're going to do a new game. But let me let you know, I have played this game for a while. I don't know everything about the game, though, and I don't pretend to know everything about the game. So please keep that in mind as we play this. Now, I don't like the fact that the guys can wear the overalls and the girl can only wear the skirt. We're farming around here and wearing a freaking skirt. So, developers, let that be known that that should not be the case because, you know, come on now. Who's going to be sitting up there digging into, you know, soil and, and planting stuff and hoeing, you know, uh, land when you're in the freaking skirt? Come on. So anyway, uh, let's pick a color. I, I do like the default. I like all the colors except for the peach. I don't deal with pink. I don't deal with pink at all. But I do like some of these colors. The ocean color is probably my favorite, and we're going to go with that. We're keeping this simple because we just have to. You know, we, we really have to, and I'm going to go with just trying to play it. Um... My farm name, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we're going to call it Play It Farm. I, I really don't know. I am not uh, one for picking names and stuff for, for locations or things. So we're going to go with a version of our name. The next farm may be called Just Trying to... I have no freaking idea, people. I, I wing this part all the time. I wing it. And that's just me. Now let's go ahead and watch... Some of the, what they consider to be a cutscene. Um, don't really know how you're going to feel about it, but let's do it. Phew! Finally, back from work. It's been a long day. We can all relate to that, probably. Okay, puts her phone down, goes over to what looks like, I thought they were books, but it's probably an extensive selection of video games. At last, I can discover this new game I've been waiting so impatiently for. Okay, she takes the game. She goes over here. Now, this part I don't like. She's not sitting down. She's standing up. Developers, if you can, at least have her sit. Uh, him, whoever the character is, please have them sit down. Because it really is not, uh, it's, it's, it's not working for me right there. It, it wasn't. Uh, I better not forget to go to work. Okay, so now here she goes. She goes over to her phone. What happened? I've missed 20 texts and 5 calls. Am I fired? Am I out of a job? How much time did I spend playing? I didn't see the time go by. Now, I'm going to tell you right now. It seems like that could happen, but most likely that does not happen. Most people will not sit there and play a video game and miss work. Okay, it, it, it just not going to happen. You People... Especially YouTubers that you, if you listen to any kind of YouTuber worth anything, they'll have a timer. They'll make sure that they get off this thing to go to work. Okay, so yes, it could possibly happen. Is it likely? Hell no. Okay, what will I do now? All right, so here's a new email. All of a sudden, you just so happen to get an email. Ew, a commercial. Wait for it. It's about an island for farming. Could be interesting. What? But it's expensive for a lost island. 
so I can finally realize my dream of being a farmer. When did we even know that you had a dream to be a farmer? That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. What is your job? What work were you going to? You know what I'm saying? All of these questions will not, probably won't get answered. If only I had a grandfather who can leave me his farm when he died, like in my favorite games. We know what you're referring to. There are quite a few games that do that. If I sell everything I own, I should have enough to buy it. Don't think so. Now, unless you live in a house and you're going to sell the house, because if this is an apartment, you're not in New York or something like that, don't know if you're going to make enough for this. But you know what? We, we, we move on. Oh, come on. I don't have a job anymore anyway, and this is for my dream. Okay, whatever dream all of a sudden came, new life, here I come. You know, on a wooden plane. Did you notice the plane was wooden, people? Okay. Let's let's just keep that in mind here, shall we? Keep it in mind. We're dealing with wooden planes. We're dealing with people who play video games to the point where they get fired because they didn't go to work. Let that just marinate a little bit through your mind. Let this just sink in. Okay, what are we dealing with here? What are we getting into? You're going to watch. I'm finally installed in my new home. That whole phrase is 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 no that sentence makes no sense now i'm not bashing the developers for this because we already know when you're translating from one language to english to our american way of english we know a lot of stuff is lost in translation so i am not bashing the developers i'm just saying you guys might want to look into that okay i've got a computer so i can connect to the internet and use amazon let's make sure we pronounce that correctly people amazon let that sink in for a minute, all right? I can order anything I need through this online service. I can find a lot of things. I should take a look, okay? Now, she just ate some eggs. Now, you see her do that, right? You're wondering, where the hell these damn eggs come from? Because they're not in her inventory, which is tab on here. Let's take a moment and look at what they will let us look at. The inventory has 10 slots. Seems like a lot, but we know that's never enough. As you can see, we can open up another 20 slots. So we're obviously going to need that space. We can see the map. This is the only area we probably have been or can go, or well, have been already. The fog is going to cover up everything else that we, you know, ha we haven't gone there yet. It's basically what it is. This game is also about discovering. It's about exploring. So please keep that in mind as you're playing it. Now, what I'm going to do is I noticed there is no music playing. When I play this on my own, I turn down the music completely because sometimes the music overwhelms what's going on. Now, we're in the YouTube universe. I don't want the music to, for me to get demonetized because of the music. I'm not monetized now anyway, so it won't matter. But later on down the line, I don't want that to be a problem. So we're going to keep the music just a little bit quiet so that we can get everything else that's going on. Now there is some ambient sounds, there's some regular sounds. I do try to keep those up because I do like to hear the sound of the ocean and all of that sort of thing. So we're going to keep that that way, except that. Okay, get out of that. Now, we're going to go back. Now as you notice the tutorial intercode, those are all grayed out. I guess they're coming along the way. They're probably trying to create this a better tutorial, which I give them props for that because the tutorial does lack a little bit. So we continue. Now it's telling us to go outside. You don't see that. Now up here we have our inventory, the map, and then we can pause, which we get to this also via escape. So just let that be known to you. We have a bed, which looks like pretty much a bed table one chair we have a sink over here we have a fridge in this fridge we have a random 24 double omelets they're double omelets not just a thing as two eggs over easy with a bit of bacon don't see any kind of bacon don't see any bacon in that at all uh just just saying energy is plus 80 which is not bad but obviously there are things that are better and we see as we looked at that we now get this dialogue by having food in the fridge i can eat it in the morning it'll give me more energy to start the day q 
keep that in mind everyone i have to make sure i have food in the fridge at all times that is true i have learned that as you can see over here the green is what your energy is this light green here is the extra energy that you got because you had food in the fridge so as long as your energy bar is naturally full what you eat from the fridge will give you extra as we're standing here we're losing daylight okay I'm not a computer addict, but it seems to be beckoning me. I should go see him first. Now, notice I was trying to do something that wasn't according to the uh, tutorial. The tutorial was telling me to check the computer. So, let's go over here and check the computer. It says no internet connection. We've seen this symbol plenty of times, haven't we? Ah, uh, how does it work? There's no internet. Everything's hooked up here. Maybe I should check around the house. Yeah, that probably is right. Now it's telling me to go outside. I am outside. I see exclamation marks over everything. The first thing that I want to go to, I want to go to everything else, but the first thing that I feel like I should go to is over here. Ah, I figured out what's wrong with the internet. I need some wood to fix it. Don't know how that works. Don't know how it works where I need some wood to fix my internet. That's outside. Not going to, you know... Fortunately, there are some small, easy to pick up branches nearby. Now, we're going to pick these up. So, all we do is go up to them. You'll see the little hit box there. We cannot pick these up. We can't pick up the big ones. Uh, we can pick these up. That's just grass, which I call junk. We can pick these up. Those are useful, the little stones. If you play any game, you know that wood and stone is very useful regardless of the way that you get it. So we want to keep that in mind. We do have to pick up five of these branches to continue with the quest. We just got a gathering level. Notice that. That is very important as well. So why did I go back inside? No, no. Um, just misclicking here. Go back over here. Use these resources for repairs? Sure. Excellent. Everything seems to be holding together. The internet should now be working. Why don't I go back to the computer and have a look? Why don't we? Let's do that, shall we? So we go back inside. We go to the computer. Great. Everything works as planned. I don't see how repairing a plank of wood could have helped me restore my internet connection, but whatever. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm talking about. How does that even help? not even gonna get into it everybody not gonna get into it okay oh Amazon keep the Amazon sent me a promotional code for free access to Amazon Express until the 15th day of spring that is very important to keep in mind it's going to be very useful for me to get started because I'm going to receive my parcels much more quickly yes you will with Amazon, we're going to go in here and we're going to look at it ourselves. Amazon has subscriptions here. These are all different types of subscriptions. Now, when you're in a menu, I believe that the time stops. The time did not move for me. It's at 10.50 right now. It'll be 10.50 when I'm done with this. So that is a very good mechanic in the game. Yay, developers. All right. What we see here is four of, I believe, the five subscriptions. One of the subscriptions is the one that we have on for trial, which should show up here after our trial is over. That means that we get free express delivery in one day, and it does not cost us anything. Okay, but we can do free delivery in a week. It will cost us based on what we're ordering. Same with standard three days. So please keep that in mind. Let's go back to the subscriptions over here. We have home delivery. Packages will be dropped off in front of your house. Now you're thinking to yourself, they're not dropped off in front of your house? No, no, they're not. They're dropped off wherever the person feels like it. Now, my experience in the game, the first package was dropped off where it needed to be. The others were not in front of your house. I haven't had anything be dropped off in some weird location yet, but I do expect it to happen soon. Package tracker, the packages are visible on your map. Now, as you start having packages be dropped off every which away, and yes, I said every which away, 
okay you are going to wonder where these packages are guess what this five hundred dollars a month will show you where your packages are on the map which is great great food you get surprise food at home per month is two hundred dollars I don't know if that works or not I've tried it on one of my playthroughs I haven't seen anything unless it just automatically makes me eat it in the morning and I just don't see that animation I have no idea but I don't know if that works or not so you know for science you can check that or not because you do have enough money right now to try it but 200 bucks on here is kind of important build it yourself for aspiring artisans you'll receive plans for diversifying your creations now I believe that that gives you some blueprints so that you can do some other things have not tried that yet because I'm not in the position to make anything on any of my other playthroughs there's a lot of things that you can make we'll look at that later and let's go back here Amazon crops animals resources tools furniture I know it says furniture sorry about that it says furniture but furniture food the cart and then the subscriptions we've already looked at subscriptions go into the crops look at all these wonderful crops right now this is not a lot it truly is it's not a lot but this can be a lot uh, as time goes on you will start opening up more and more of the things that's available so first things first is we deal with what's here okay this grows turnip seeds grow in four days wonderful wonderful potato six days tulips seven days right now we've got two veggies and one flower you know selections are minimal but like I said we'll open up more later apple seeds the tree takes 15 days now you don't have to water the tree you don't which is wonderful to know you don't have to water the tree after you plant it I think most games have incorporated that which I applaud the developers for doing it apple trees 15 days to mature six apples every day every six apple an apple every six days Ooh, got a little tongue tied there an apple every six days after that in every season that is important lemon seeds same days to mature produces lemon every four days in only the summer and the autumn that's also important to know ideally I believe we have 28 days in each season is what I think I saw as I was going through my playthrough ideally you want to plant that lemon seed on say day 13 maybe day 12 I don't think it counts if, if you look at it I don't think it counts the day that you planted it I think it starts the day after as one day which makes sense I guess I wouldn't mind if it counted the same day but we're gonna see that in in, in, in action because we're gonna end up planting some seeds today I'm not gonna buy any yet and you're gonna see why so what we're going to do here is we're gonna go out of this we're going to then go outside we see things to explore over here we've got a workbench for building things seems unusable in its current state few nails and boards here and there should be able to get it up and running again maybe I can find what I need on Amazon using my computer inside so there you go we need five wooden boards five nails now if you think about it now the resources is open there we go wooden boards and nails eventually you can make these things but right now you can't now my question was why would they have us have to use resources that we can't make yet in order to make the most basic uh, workbench workshop whatever they call it don't know don't really care either so we're gonna order five of those and five of those okay now I could just go in here and say ship now see what I'm saying here this is what costs us 70 
if we were to have it shipped three days it's not bad it's not bad but if you look at the other stuff we're gonna go to express here if you look at everything else 70 could get you a tulip and a potato seed could get you two potato seeds could get you almost three more turnip seeds what I'm telling you and I get I bet you get what I'm saying is that extra money will add up and could be potential profit that you can't make because you're using it on shipping so what I'm telling anyone that's going to play this game okay make use of the first two weeks of the Express order 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 even if you don't order anything for the last two weeks so you can build up your money make sure that you've got enough money enough seeds to go around okay it becomes extremely important trust me when I tell you then as a little caveat you've got other things here that's gonna open up as you level up so have a little money in reserve or have a plan as to when you're gonna get that stuff now the first 15 days like I said use it if you go in here it won't tell you I don't think here no it won't tell you when it's over but it told us in the beginning it was gonna be over on the 15th so let's just remember that now another thing is we get to look at this box has plenty of space store anything I find in it also more specialized boxes for better storage that's really good to know we open it up we've got three pills in here to improve our health yes you get sick in this game which I think is a great addition you know as you're working through certain days you're gonna get sick when it's raining you're gonna get sick um, as you work out there more and more often you're gonna get sick so keep that in mind everyone here is one of our favorite containers we have a hoe we have 10 turnip seeds and five potato seeds wonderful wonderful find what luck a hoe and bags of seeds I can start to lay out my first field well time to brush up on the basics of farming the hoe allows me to dig into the soil to plant seeds however I have to be careful in my choice of seeds as most require specific seasons to develop properly the seeds tell you okay that's usually the way any of these games work then after I planted my seeds I need to water them I have to find a watering can or bucket of water for that there must be something washed up on the beach to the south that could help me okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find said thing now as we go down here we're seeing a lot of other things down here there's our bucket let's grab it get out of the way okay grab the bucket oh I found the bucket it's not ideal but I can use it to water my plants I can use ocean water to fill it okay so we have the bucket now I like to rearrange things so that I can use it wisely you know this it really doesn't matter as long as I've got it on my first your first 10 are here so as long as I've got it on my first 10 but I usually try to keep my tools to the left and everything else to the right it's just me it's, it's definitely not required now as I'm passing this stuff up I'm gonna grab it because I know I'm gonna need it you'll see these little things over here if you any if you played any any type of farming game simulation game even survival games there's forgeable things that are out here grab them save them store them if you have to if you need to know how much things are selling for my advice to you is to take one of everything that you want to know and put it in the bin put it you know sell it now where's the bin let's go find it um, let me grab these here I just can't resist on this stuff now it's 1434 we're gonna find the bin in a minute I want to get these things down before it gets too late okay right now as you can see this is our first field need to make sure my hoe is properly equipped which it is now you can see how much field we can do this is not that big it's probably big for us right now but it really isn't that big 
Now, we don't have an axe. We don't have a hammer. We don't have anything. So we cannot move these, uh, the logs, but we can move this other stuff. And as you can see, our gathering level has went up. Working on the farm helps me find ways to improve. It allows me to develop methods to better optimize my work. Now I have to think of a way to improve the farm. Each level of work and item increases the experience bar. Once completed, a skill point is acquired. We all know about skill points. To use it, the first step is to open the menu. Tab opens this menu. Go to the skills tree. Starter. That's the only thing we can do right now. Unlock the first skill. It will allow you to accept contracts. Merchant Spirit. You have downloaded the new contract application. You can now accept orders on the internet. That is what we always want to do. Perfect. Now I can get on my computer and find customers. Which is how we're going to make money. You probably was wondering. How was we going to do that? Well, this is how we're going to do that. One way to do that. What I've noticed in this game is it is a farming game. Uh, you have to farm. Farming is your primary thing, which I love that. There's a lot of games that even though it says you're going to farm, you end up mining, fishing, doing everything else to make the most money. But in this case, your farming does come in handy. Now, do you use the other stuff? Yeah, you do. You most certainly do. But, is the other stuff dominating you? Not necessarily. But it is useful. Okay, I've got four more of these things. Let's see. I'm going to order four. Let's see what I got. I got four more spaces here. I'm going to order four more seeds, and I think those are going to be those tulips, or whatever they were. So let's just water all of this before we get into anything else. It is almost 1900. Time on the game uh, goes quickly when you're doing stuff. Uh, farming level has gone up, which is great. When you're doing things on this game, uh, your, your, those levels go up quick. Uh, those levels go up pretty quick. Now, uh, what was I going to do? Here's our box. I recognize this trunk well. I can put the things I want to sell in it. I don't know who takes care of it, but he comes every evening to make the exchange. Oh, how am I going to explain the difference between a sale and contracts? I have to provide a section on the right for contracts. Now, as we wait, you hear the noise. Supposedly, she's fixing little things. And that's it. That's it. Now all I have to do is put the items in the right section. What the hell is she talking about? Well, let's see. Here we go. Tab here says inventory. This is anything in our inventory that we want to sell. I am going to sell those and these. I have not found. It says it's used for fuel or used to build things. I haven't found a use for it yet. But... Grass is in abundance around the area. And as you go into different areas and different seasons, grass is everywhere. So I personally, to make a little extra money, I sell them. I usually don't sell them until they get to a certain amount, but it doesn't matter. We've got enough slots here to cover as much stuff. These, it says, is a toxic fungus, so it's best to get rid of it. I have not seen any recipes for it. But I haven't seen that many recipes either, and that's my fault. Um, that'll come later on. But everything else, I'm holding on to. These two items here, if you want to follow my lead, as you go through the game, sell them, sell them, sell them. The little extra money comes in handy. It's not a lot. Trust me, you'll see how much that is in the next episode. It's not a lot. But... It is something. So now let's go check out the contracts and order our stuff. I'm going to install an application that will allow people to give me contracts to fulfill in exchange for rewards. It's a great way to make money. That's what it's all about, right? Because we're going to need that money 
to upgrade stuff to buy stuff now you see the contracts open this is the builder section that'll open when you want to when we can upgrade stuff move buildings around open up another lo uh, uh, location to farm things like that will come up this I'm not sure why it's called this but it's basically the weather predictor um, I'm not familiar with other countries that use this or whatever so I don't pretend to know I didn't know what that meant, but looking at the icon you kind of get it okay here we are with the contracts now as you see there's three available contracts I believe it's three each day we have over here this is our maximum max is five this is how many we've taken so that's what this section is for contract simple tells you gives you a little blurb at the top tells you who the customer is the limit date is basically the deadline and it gives you it's a rank of a certain contract a C contract is de is decent I think it goes from A to D I think I've seen B and C contracts and D contracts I haven't seen A yet but as I said I've been playing for a bit anyhow tells you how many of each to that you you know of what they want you see these starfish they do ask for those that's why I pick them up and I don't sell them obviously the rewards are more usually than what the act than if you just sold it you know just outright so what I try to do is hold on to everything else other than those two things that I showed you now in this case they want these this is the first time that I've seen a contract since I was playing that asked for these things so what are we gonna do we're gonna go take it out of the, the, the damn box so we're gonna take all of these now you see what that did it's making it seem like I didn't take that now if you have that issue all you have to do is go out and come back in it's no big deal you know it's, it's not game it's, it's annoying but it's not game changing okay it, it doesn't make you it doesn't break the game let's put it that way now if we go back in here we have planted enough to fill that contract already so we probably don't have to buy anymore what I want to buy are tulip seeds and I'm gonna buy five of those I am tempted and I you know what temptation is there you go and I'm just going to click on that why did I click on that because if you don't click on it you will constantly get this little exclamation here because there's something that you didn't look at or there's something that you didn't do or, or something of that nature um, personally you know I just make sure I try to click on everything here but it can get annoying because it makes you think you have something new to look at when you really don't there have been times I've looked at everything and it's still up there so I just look at it when I feel like it we've accepted every contract that's here for now okay now let's put in our order we can either click up here or we can go down to the cart I prefer clicking up here you'll see everything that you're ordering right now F just changes the quantity control goes back tab changes the shipping options here okay we're gonna express deliver it we'll get those things tomorrow to me it's worth every penny that we would have to pay later on tells you here you're about to order 17 items the package would arrive spring 2 great because we're on spring 1 now we have 8.95 left sounds like a lot but it ain't okay now first thing we need to do before we go to bed we need to take this thing out of here because it's going to get sold. We have a little bit of a little bit of time left and some energy. When you're gathering, this takes no energy at all. Right now, we don't have anything that we're going to spend this energy on. So what we're going to do is just gather stuff. Gathering gives you experience, as you saw earlier, and it helps you to um get levels get get points get skill points 
and the contracts will help you get other kind of points. Now, let's look up here. Inventories, right there, okay? We saw that earlier. Skill tree, they introduced that to us. These are all dependent on you spending points elsewhere. So, we're in the starter menu now. That's, this is all we can do right now. However, once we spend four points invested in beginner, which means over here, once we've gotten to about here, we can then start putting points over here. That also means once we put points in beginner, we can start putting points in here. So all of them will be connected. We need four points in beginner, at least five points in hard worker. So then all of this will start opening up. That's how this thing works. But honestly, what I found and what I want to uh, give my hats off to the developers about, almost everything in here is useful. There's nothing that I say to myself, well, that's not worth it. That's not useful. All of it is. Now, do I need it now? No. And that's the key. I don't need it right now because I don't have animals. So anything that's got to do with animals, I don't need it yet. Um, you know, these help you improve your contracts. The customers get more patience. Makes sense. Make damn good sense. You open up other uh, flowers. You open up fruit uh, trees, new fruit trees. Things like that come up. Uh, your hammer does more uh, work. Your axe does more work, you know, different things like that. You now can get more from the value of your crops. That's great. You open up more backpack space. This tells you that there's a mine somewhere that you can mine different gems or ores or both. So this kind of gives you an idea. You cook more things with your fires. So that means you should be able to cook if you put, say, this looks like a campfire. It's a campfire. If you put a campfire out there, your creations, you know, you can make clothing, you can make jewelry, that sort of thing. That excited me a lot. And, you know, I know that you may or may not have that same uh, feeling about it, but it really did excite me because, you know, I was looking forward to it. You didn't see all of that in the demo. And that's why I was willing to give the game another shot because I know you can't get everything in the demo. You really can't. And uh, I felt like I would have been doing them a disservice if I had actually um, just judged it from the demo itself. Because we know how demos are. So we're going to go to bed. And then the next morning we'll see what sold, you know, how much it sold for, all of that. And um, you're going to see what I mean about not enough. We sold 25 grass for a GP each or a G each, whatever the currency. It's another 25 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. It gives us almost a seed. <laughs> you know, but that's what I mean. That stuff kind of adds up for me. It was free. It gave us a gathering experience, which is probably more invaluable than anything else. Now, you saw her just eat. It says I'm tired. I don't know why, because I went to bed before 2400. And you're supposed to go to bed before 2400. Now, I don't know if me standing there kind of, you know, did something, but we'll see. Each day, I check the contracts because each day you get new ones. Now, look at this. We have quality and grade. This is a C contract again. You have until the 20th of spring, which should give you more than enough time to do these. Three potatoes, five turnips. We're going to take it. Now, in the lunch box, you've got two apples. I am going to plant some apples. You have until the 4th of summer to do it. Do I want to hold up a space for that? Maybe. Maybe not. But this, if I give them four potatoes, I'll get three of the tulips and some money that to me is invaluable also because the tulips cost what I think they were 45 a piece so it's given me basically over 300 like 304 in value for four potatoes I'm gonna take it I am what I would normally do is I would normally go back we're gonna play out this day and then we're gonna cut it off because I've gone over probably what I wanted to do 
but I don't know, and I haven't paid attention. If I log out now, I don't know if the contracts would be different or not. They shouldn't be, but I don't know if they are or aren't. Anyway, I want to have this available. But for 57 coins all the way to summer, it won't take us that long. But 57 coins is not worth it. It may take us, actually it might take us that long. And the reason why I say might is let's go back into the crops. The apple tree seeds take 15 days to mature. And then you get one apple every six days, but every season. So I've only got one apple tree that I ordered. So it will take 15 days. I'll get an apple that day. And then on the 21st and the 27th of the month, well, I'm planting it on the 12th. So I got to go I, on the 2nd. So I've got to go further than that. So on the 17th day or the 18th day, it will mature. Okay. Then on the 23rd or 24th, I'll get an apple. And then maybe the end of the month, I, I might get it or the beginning of, of uh, summer. I won't have it in time is basically what I'm saying unless I buy two or three more apple trees you know at least one or two more apple trees would do it so I wouldn't worry about it but it doesn't hurt to look at all of those you can take it and I and I don't think that there is a penalty for letting it expire but I don't like it taking up space I don't like it uh, if I'm not gonna use it I would rather just leave it where it is okay so first thing we're gonna do today is you remember yesterday we fixed our uh, workbench I'm gonna call it a workbench but I think they call it a workshop where we fixed our workbench first thing I'm gonna walk around here and look and see if anything's just a little bit I won't go too far you see over there there's another part of the island over there um, we can get over there that's some um, bridges that we will have to make you'll see those as we go along I just want to walk along the shore real quick now that means we have a delivery okay now you won't see that every time there's a delivery that icon in the left is what you will see every time we have a delivery uh, for the first one they thought that they would do that which is kind of cute it is it's kind of cute so there's nothing that that washed up on the shore no forageables we fill up our bucket we go up here and let's see our delivery is right here now this is probably the closest that i think they kind of get um but i won't i won't make i i, I won't pro i can't promise that We'll put these things in there. Okay. Let's get what's here. There we go. Whoa, all my items arrived in good condition. The pilot seems to have aimed well so as not to parachute my order too far away from my house. Okay, so we ordered the wood board and nails. Now, we've got all of that. Yes. The workbench is stronger than ever. I should be able to make some useful things. So, that's going to be ready in the morning. Now, you see we got another point. Those points aren't easy, but they come fairly routinely. As long as you're doing stuff. Let's go into the skill tree. The only other thing we can do is discover new seeds on Amazon. And Amazon. I almost said it wrong. And Amazon. Now, as you can see, obviously there's fishing. And then here's the construction menu. We're going to have to do those two before we can kind of do anything else. Now, here I want to plant these. These are the tulip seeds. Um, and then we have our two, uh, the, those other seeds. Now, here is where you can keep seeds. I believe that's the only thing you can keep in this toolbox are seeds. So, you can keep that in mind just in case. Uh, we're going to ship out these 18 here. For now, I'm going to put all of this in here since our workbench is not fixed. I forgot we had ordered materials to fix the workbench, but it is not fixed. Now, where in the world are we going to plant these trees? Uh, there's one. 
You can plant these uh, trees anywhere. I thought they need to be plant planted here, but you can plant them anywhere. Just remember not to knock them down as they get bigger. And I think you'll be able to distinguish them because you'll see that something's growing on them as opposed to the other ones where they're bare. Now the workbench is going to allow us to make tools. Uh, the only tool we were given, as you remember, is we only had the hoe. But the workbench is going to allow us to make other tools so we can start clearing uh, some of this stuff out. But the game itself, as I said before, is very simple. You know, you don't necessarily have to uh, do everything, you know, right away. You can take your time and do things. Um, I was excited to do stuff quick in one of my playthroughs because I, I, and I didn't finish anywhere near everything. Because I was so excited to see what was going on. I wanted to see this. I wanted to see that. And I was playing through it and really wasn't allowing myself to enjoy the game for what it was worth. And uh, so I had a second playthrough. I restarted. And that playthrough has been much, much more enjoyable. Uh, the game is not meant for you to hurry up and finish it. It's not meant for, you know, I believe it's meant for you to go multiple, at least two years in the game. There is no, there aren't any other NPCs in the game. So, right now, you're not expected to get married. You're not expected to um, socialize with anyone, which kind of takes away from uh, a lot of the things. Because uh, a lot of people are used to these types of games that want you to get married and have a family and keep the legacy going, I guess. Well, this game, there are no NPCs. You have people who are supposedly out there, but you never see these people. You're just, uh, they're just fulfilling, uh, different... You're fulfilling the different, uh, contracts and stuff that they have. You know, they probably never see you. You probably never see them. You know. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you heard that little noise. But as you can see, I can fulfill that contract. And I'm going to go do it in a minute. And show you what that looks like. So, you notice that I have put everything else in that box, right? Well, here is another wonderful thing. I just wanted to check over here. I thought I saw, yeah, I missed these two. Here is another wonderful thing about the game mechanics. I'm going to sell that. That's out of my personal stuff. Now, I want to fulfill this contract, but I don't have all of the things on me, right? Well, it recognizes that that box that I put everything in, that there are some of these in there. So what it does is the first one here is what I have on me and this is what's sitting in the box. And it is absolutely wonderful. You pick that one and then you pick this one to get your total. So you pick from the two. You can pick, you know, everything from the box first before you pick anything on your person or in your inventory or vice versa or a combination two. Doesn't matter. Then you say, now that all of them are here, you say send, and that's what it does. My first contract completed. I'm so proud of myself. There we go. Now you have another space to get another contract. Uh, these are pretty easy to do. I'm going to need 11 potatoes and 8 turnips. I've already got the turnips planted. But I should probably order the potatoes now rather than later. These are going to bring back so, so good money. I'm looking at about, what is it, almost $1,000 plus six additional seeds. These seeds we don't even have yet. Notice they're a different color. These seeds are for this season, but we can plant, you know, more tulips. So that to me is exciting. Now, it's 1950 on here right now. Let's put every... What am I doing? I'm taking everything out. 
okay don't think this is a lot of branches because it's not this is a not not a lot of little stuff you'll see that on the next episode but let's just tiptoe up here real quick now you saw a glimpse of all of this let's look at the map once again we have a lot of space we haven't been to yet let's just take a quick look up here there's a lot of things that need to be cleaned up here a lot of space up here lots of space up here there's there's quite quite an extensive look look at all this look at all this see there's so many trees here maybe i should think about picking up a couple of pebbles and a couple of branches to make an axe in my workshop now our workshop is not ready yet um but as you can see we've already fulfilled that so when it comes down to it when our workshop is completed we can then go and make an axe that's the kind of thing about the game that i kind of like because had i not come up here it wouldn't have triggered that i wouldn't have had that um you know what do you call it that quest if that's what you want to call it i wouldn't have been able to have that quest so it makes a difference now let's see is there anything that i'm missing yes because i opened up new crops now let's take a look we have fertilizer which improves the quality of your crops increase up to five levels that is phenomenal but what i also notice what this does not tell you is it gives you an extra crop i don't know how many extras i don't know if the five levels means it gives you up to five additional crops but it definitely gives you an additional crop and i noticed that but the question is is it worth it the tulip seeds cost 40. you don't know how much all of these you don't know how much they cost to ship them out you know if you just ship them out the way they are but you know that if you use them in a contract it's worth it so if you're going to use fertilizer on anything i suggest using the fertilizer on the crops just so you can get an extra one to fulfill orders not so that you can ship mass produce them to ship them out i purposely don't mass produce these to ship out because they're worth it they don't deteriorate they don't rot so that's a good thing now we go back down here we have cucumbers cabbages and strawberry seeds which is wonderful as you can see the cucumbers and the strawberries continuously grow so we should probably get some of those in the ground soon when we get our axe i think we will because we can clear up some of those other spots now these little icons will be up here until you click on it notice that i said that before you click on it click on it click on it now the icons are not there because you've seen them uh, you see them here, but you know what I mean. You've clicked on it. You've acknowledged that they that they're there, and that's that. If that bothers you, then by all means, click on them, get rid of them. If it doesn't bother you, then leave them alone. Um, for right now, should we order anything? We have 974. We might as well. I'm gonna get three of those. These do not grow back. And three of these. Now, what I'm trying to do is the ones that don't grow back, I'm trying to get as many of those as possible and continuously growing them over the course of the season. The season goes by pretty quick, if you really think about it. I'm going to get one fertilizer for science so that I can kind of show you uh, what that does. I'll probably put it either on a tulip seed or a cabbage seed. Um, mostly you can tell roughly the higher higher value items by the price cucumbers and strawberries are a little higher because they grow over time they grow multiple times so you're not going to necessarily get this that's worth say 80 or 90 a piece that's going to continuously grow throughout the whole season it's not going to happen so it's same with the strawberry they probably are going to be a lot less I've only priced a few of them, to be honest with you. I have not priced a lot of them because my intentions was not to have them mass produce to resell and, and just to sell completely, you know, through the box. So 
that's what I'm doing with that. Then we have time to pick uh, our last little thing over here. Well, not last one, but our third one. We're going to go with the fishing first. There we go. Now, we have opened up fishing. We should see the opportunity to buy a fishing rod, and there it is. It's 300. Seems like a lot. Is it? Maybe. Maybe. But it's worth it because when you fish and they ask you for different fish or grilled fish, this thing is invaluable. Trust me when I tell you. Now, I'm going to buy all of this. It's going to take me down to 4 G. I ain't gonna have no money to buy anything else for a while. But I'm I have seeds. I have a fishing rod. Everything else that I probably need for a little bit is probably the resources that are already out there. So I'm good to go. I'm not worried about it. So let's go ahead and send that off. We'll get that the next day. Okay. We're, we're starting to open up some things. It starts off real slow, guys. It really does. But it is worth it. I believe the game itself is worth playing. Um, it takes a lot of getting used to. It really does. But the developers have done a good job on this. They actually are kind of paying attention to things that people say. There's a lot of things that are said, obviously, in foreign language that I can't decipher. But uh, they are paying attention. They are on the uh, discussion, you know, and they probably have a Discord, all of that stuff. So please, guys, if, if you're looking for something different, something that's farming related, things like that, I said, this, this is probably something for you to pick up. I don't remember how much it costs. I want to say it's under $20. I do believe it's worth the price. Um, as long as they continuously update it and continuously fix the different uh, glitches, the different bugs that, you know, people have been finding. I think it'll work out. Okay, guys, this has been Just Trying to Play It. Please leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe for other videos. Let me know what you feel about this. If there are any other games that are like it that I haven't seen. I love the feedback, love for you to just pop in and say hello. This is just trying to play it saying please stay safe everyone.